think you know how to take your body measurements for sewing patterns correctly? You might be surprised. Avoid these top mistakes to ensure your sewing projects fit perfectly every time. In this video, I'm going to show you how to accurately measure yourself for sewing patterns and help you steer clear of the most common measuring mistakes. Whether you think you know your measurements or you're just starting out, it is crucial to get this step right to ensure your projects fit perfectly. From common errors to pro tips, I'll guide you through what you need to know to avoid fabric wastage and frustration. Let's get those measurements right and make your sewing experience more rewarding. Before we get started, I want to make some notes on a couple of items that you will need to take your own measurements. The first is a soft tape measure. You can get these at any good quilting and sewing shops, but I do want to point out one really important thing. Please make sure that you regularly check the accuracy of your tape measure because with time, these soft tape measures can actually stretch and give inaccurate measurements. You just want to take a metal or a plastic ruler and check that your tape measure is still accurate, ensuring that your measurements are going to be correct. It is also really important to wear the bra that you intend to wear under your garment. Wearing the correct undergarments can make a big difference to the way your final garment sits and looks. When taking your measurements, you wear clothes that are figure hugging, such as active wear, or you can also just wear your underwear if it's just you taking the measurements. It's also really important to take your measurements every time you make a garment and to check it against the pattern you intend to make. Pattern companies all have different size ranges and measurements that can vary greatly compared to store-bought or ready-to-wear clothing. So it's really important just to take your measurements and check. It's also really rare to find a pattern company with exactly the same measurements as another, so it's best not to assume that you know what size you'll fit into any given pattern company's size chart. So just making sure that you check it against there. It is also a good idea to regularly check your measurements before you start cutting out your pattern to ensure that they're still accurate. Lastly, getting a notepad and pen is great to have handy so you can write down your measurements as you check them. It's a good idea to be in front of a mirror as well so you can check where your tape measure is sitting. So just being in front of a mirror can be an extra handy tip as well. So let's dive into taking our bust, waist and hip measurements. So the first thing we're going to do is to measure our bust. And we're going to take our tape measure, which we have already checked is accurate against our ruler. Oops. So we're going to take our tape measurement and place it around our bust. And as I mentioned, it is also super important to make sure that you are wearing um, the bra that you intend to wear with your garment or similar. So it can make a huge difference in your measurements depending on the type of underwear that you wear. So it is important to make sure you are wearing the correct undergarments. Although I will cave you that to say, um, check the pattern as well, because sometimes a pattern will specify that they want you to measure yourself without a bra on and to make the measurements from that. So it can just double check to make sure that that's what they say. So we're going to take our measurement or take our tape measure and place it over the apex, which is also known as the nipple. And we're going to wrap it around. We also just want to have a look in the mirror. So I've got my mirror off to the side to make sure that it is roughly um, level all the way around. So I can move this down a little bit. So I'm just making sure it is level all the way around. And then what I can do is just take a deep breath in and out. And then... I want it to be firm over my bust and then I can sort of pinch where that is and have a look at my measurement. So once I've taken my measurement, I can jot that down. The next measurement we're going to take is our waist measurement. So the natural waist actually sits sort of just above your belly button. So my belly button is here and it starts at the bottom of your rib cage. So it's generally the smallest part of your torso. So that can sort of vary depending on your body. Um, but sometimes it helps to sort of put your hands in a bit of a teapot where you think your smallest part is, and that is where you're going to measure. So you can, if you want to, put a piece of string around here or a piece of elastic if that helps you sort of bind out where your waistline is. But this is where your waistline should roughly sit. So we are going to measure around this part here. So again, we're going to get our tape measure. And like I said, if you've got a mirror, it is very helpful. So I'm looking off to the side in my mirror to make sure that the tape measure is straight around my body. 
And I'm going to take a deep breath in and out just to let it all sort of settle. Make sure it's firm, not too tight because you want to make sure you're getting an accurate measurement. So we're taking a breath in, breath out, making sure it's nice and firm around our natural waistline. Then we can just pinch where it meets, have a look at our waist and jot that measurement down. The last measurement we're going to take is our hips and it's not our hip bone. It is actually the widest part of our body. So it's usually around the buttocks and around the front. So again, we're going to take it around the widest part of our body. Look in the mirror to make sure that it is nice and straight. Like so. And then trying to stay upright. This is kind of the important part and where having a mirror comes in handy because you don't have to look down to see it. You're just, you're standing up straight and it's, you know, having a bit of a feel to where that crosses over, making sure you're nice and comfortable, pinching where it crosses over, having a look, and then you're able to drop that measurement down as well. Hopefully that helps you take your measurements a little easier. If you have any questions or comments, pop them in the comment section below and I'll answer when I can. To help you even further in your sign projects and adventures, I've linked a couple of videos on screen including a more in-depth video from Made to Sew that talks about additional measurements and how to take them. I also have a bunch of other resources linked in the description below, including a link to join the upcoming Stitch Your Style Sew Along that I am hosting. Get ready to say goodbye to ill-fitting clothing and hello to Seamlessly Stitch Style in this five-day community event. Check the link in the description below for more details and to join.